tobie. You tagged that screaming idiot, huh? Only a matter of time before the Sith pounce on him. It's not gonna be pretty. Doesn't bother you getting that guy killed? I'm just relaying the information. I tried to tell myself the same thing about those other victims. I'm not happy, but it was either him or me. He should have kept his mouth shut. Here, this is every credit I have. Thanks for the help. Oh, new pair of pants that aren't as good. No. I'll take the, uh... Planet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to ding it too. Yeah, you're not too far behind me now. I'm about uh, about twenty, about twenty six, twenty seven percent in, I think. To thirteen. I'm about five percent away, so we're still about thirty percent off. Yeah. Use one of those experience boosters. Oh, did you? No, I haven't got one on. You, you use one if you want. It will help you catch up. Oh, I don't know if I have one. I do. Have, I have three. Yeah, I've got two. Hey there, Hunter. Competition out there is something crazy. A couple of hunters died in the jungles. Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials. You found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. I need three total bounties to get in the melee, correct? Afraid the rules will change again? Not yet, anyway. Still three to win. Your second bounty's a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Fabal, Imperial Navy. Why would an Imperial officer need me? Usually because one clawed arm of the old Imperial Beast don't want the other to see what it's scratching on. Here's the slip. <laughs> For balls in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. Okay. Unbelievable, I didn't think. Oh, <laughs> really? I am 200 points away from Dane. Wow. I think I've got to go to the next one down, I think. Yeah. Meet with Jarth Jadis. That's the scary dude in the mask, isn't it? I think so. You're the freaking secret police. Rataki must remain outside. The master has not requested her presence. Looks like I'll have to miss this one then. Real shame. You don't have to go, Kaleo. Listen. I uh, don't worry about it. Now that I'm a loyal Imperial agent, who am I to defy the Dark Council's wishes? Come, stand before me. 
and revel in the power of the Dark Council. Allow your body to betray you. Allow your blood to boil and your heart to slow. Everything that is not of the Dark Side will be purged, or it will be tainted. This is inoculation, Agent. This is a sacred rite. You are privileged. It is an honor, my lord. It has been earned. This is your due reward. You proved yourself by outmaneuvering the hearts. Now I choose you to exterminate the dissidents who would destroy our way of life. I sense your uncertainty. You wonder why I involve myself in this affair. Why I take an interest in you and Imperial intelligence. As you say. Many in the Dark Council hold themselves above the mundane business of the Empire. I believe this is a mistake. I believe we must spread the ways of the Sith to the Empire entire. Plant terror and hatred in every heart. I believe in the democratization of fear. But these dissidents threaten all progress. Left unchecked, they would reduce our world to ash and raise nothing in its place. The dissidents will be stopped. Imperial intelligence is already uncovering their plan. Do not underestimate our enemies. They are powerful, and there are those who sympathize with them. People at the highest levels of government. I chose you for this assignment, not only because of your past successes, but because you are new to your organization. Your loyalty is uncompromised. Do you understand? I believe so, my lord. Good. Watch those around you, and trust no one. I will leave Dromund Kar soon aboard the Starship Dominator. I will travel with a thousand dignitaries, diplomats and slaves, and show them the galaxy as I envision it. When I return, I expect the dissidents to have been purged. Kneel before me now, and I will ensure that you have the means to succeed. I kneel before you, my lord. I have remade the pitiful creatures around you into my image. So shall I remake you into the vessel for my power. Now go from here, and return to your duties. I've learned a great deal. Thank you for this audience. Remember what I have said. Remember that you walk the path to power. And remember that I am eternal. Wow. Isn't he full of himself? He is a tad bit full of himself, yes. And here, what's the situation? This is Watcher 2. We're still working on full analysis of the slaves' files, but we have a new lead. Proceed to the Nexus Room Cantina in Car City. I'll brief you once you're in place. I assume you'll pick up my tab. Is there a dress code? It's a high-class place. Something eye-catching. Watch a two out. Okie dokie, I've got to go back to the cantina now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to Admiral Rabal's office. Right. Which I don't even know where that's at. Like, it's out of here. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Let me grab a coffee. Okay. No okay. problem. Already word of your feats has reached those knowledgeable in Kars City. I am the apprentice and voice of Darth Charnas. I speak in his name and I would bargain for your services. I'm paying attention. 
I require individuals capable of gaining prestige in a society weaned on secrecy and madness. Individuals who can earn respect, if not love. I need infiltrators to eliminate an enemy of the Sith. You would serve well. What sort of enemy are you referring to? Our enemy is the Order of Revan. A cult of fools hidden at every stratum of Imperial society. For years, the Revanite heretics have secretly recruited military officers, powerful Sith, wealthy mercenaries, anyone who can add to their power. You want me to join them, I take it? I want you to help my master ruin them. Instead of following the Emperor and his Dark Council, the Revanites follow a long-dead Sith Lord, tainted by Jedi ways. If you can uncover the Revanite leader's identity for us, my master will reveal him to the Dark Council. His destruction would be assured. All you have to do is join the cult. I can get you inside, but you must earn their trust. I earn their trust, I earn my fee. Is that right? Indeed. The Revanites have a secret compound in the jungle. Take this token to the cultist at the entrance. He will initiate you. Earn an audience with their leader. When you have seen his face, return here, and you shall have your reward. Get okay. Hey, Pantina. Yep. Use a holocron. Can't get my shoe. I'm going blind. <laughs> this is Watcher Two. Signal established. I've tapped into the Cantina Holocans agent. I can see you from six different angles. We're ready to go. Give me the rundown. So, Theodore Mindak is a genius inventor and entrepreneur working with the radicals. Unfortunately, Theodore is being sheltered by the Sith Lord Grathen. Grathen turns a blind eye to Theodore's affiliations in exchange for weapon designs. I assume you're not briefing me over drinks for my comfort. No. You're here for a very specific reason. Dealing with Gratham directly isn't an option. He's involved in a power struggle with the other Dark Lords. In essence, he's gone rogue. However, Theobor's daughter, Samara, frequents this cantina. She has access to Theobor's workshop in Gratham's estate. You think she's willing to turn against family? We believe so. Samara Mindak is rich, young, and willing to flaunt her advantages. She's popular with the Cast City elite, but hardly beloved. No meaningful connections or reputation. Our profile suggests she'll cooperate if given incentives. I've located her in a private lounge. It's up to you how to handle her. Is there a standard procedure for this? Just the usual tools of the trade. Diplomacy, blackmail, and intimidation. Use them well. Once Samara's told you how to reach her father's workshop, head to Lord Grafton's estate. Send us anything you find on Theobor's computers. I may have to get, uh... Close to Samara. Are you going to get jealous? I'll just have to remind myself that you're on the job, Agent. Go. I'll be watching. <laughs> right, okay. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. What did it say? Uh, it started that quest where I've got to go to that estate. You know the one, the, that high society. Okay. Got to find uh, Samara Mindek. Why, right. why is there something pointing back in there? <laughs> it's me not reading the quest again. Up on the left. Okay, I'm coming. Yes, sir. Right, 
No, not very successfully. Unfortunately, he said he was going to follow up. Ugh. Huh. I feel like he's playing the stickers with an arrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our, our female dog's in heat. And, oh, uh, right. And the male is beside himself with uh, <laughs> inability to fix this, rectify the situation. <laughs> Stop obsessing about the mercenaries, Oban. You wish you could carry a Vira blade. You get vicious after a while, don't you? Sure. I'm gonna go talk to someone else now. She's a brat, but she's got spirit. Wanna break it? Oh, look at you. Enjoying yourself? <laughs> Not the worst party I've ever been to. But it needs improvement, you know? I know what you mean. But things are looking up now. I get that a lot. Not usually from guys like you, though. Military guys, I mean. You're a military, right? You've got that in charge kind of look. And the weapons. Let's say you're right. Does that have an appeal? Maybe it does. Depends if you're more than just the look. Tomorrow. Be careful. You need to take this seriously. Shut up, Oban. I said I'm done with you. So, tell me, how can I serve the Empire? I came looking for a dangerous man, but I suspect you're much better company. Oh, forward. I like that. Though, my dad doesn't approve of military guys. Hard to know what they're really after. Right now, I'm only interested in you. Hmm. You can be real convincing. Pleasure first, business later. What? You're going off with him? Shut up, Oban. Then I don't suppose... You pretty lady would? You're kidding, right? I have things to do, Agent. I'll catch up to you later. Okay, let's dance. Later you tell me what you really want in private. Whoa! <laughs> You're gonna make a bad girl out of me. But I can't say no to you. Here. Code to Daddy's workshop. Should get you in if you can get a guard's key card. You have to visit me again if it works. I'll try to go easy on Theovor when we find him. Sure, but don't try too hard. We were never that close. Okay. It would appear I've done my business here. Uh, apparently. <laughs> Need a cigarette or anything before we move on? <laughs> oh dear. Well, I've never seen that before. No. That was something new. Why is there a lot of dead bodies in this corridor? I, I was. I think the same question to myself. Everything in here is dead. Right, where's your next bit then? Over this way. Right down here. The office of Admiral Fraubal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business? Here? I'm here to see the Admiral. Let me in. I'm afraid the Admiral is not seeing vagrants today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to shoot you in the head. What? You wouldn't dare. What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome individual here, Admiral. Rather dirty, too. Quarrelsome? 
You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. I'll bet you get a demerit for that, Lieutenant. <laughs> You're terrible. The Admiral is waiting. Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He was of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. If it's delicate you want, it's delicate you'll get. I have every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. I'm a hunter. I don't kill people unless I have to. You are more than welcome to try taking her alive, but she will not allow it. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grather, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. This is some political move for you? Less a move than a response, but yes. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. In the worst... You'd get squashed like a bug? An inelegant way to phrase it, but yes. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege, <coughs> but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. I hope not. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> is there going to be fallout for taking down a Sith? Not as long as nobody knows what happened. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. Okay. I'm guessing it's the same place, the Grafton Yeah, it's a Grafton Mr. yeah. And speak to... Uh, Dizoon? I'm guessing both at the same place. Be the Citadel. That's the center of the universe as far as the Empire is concerned. How big do you think those flags are? Alright, so we actually need to go to the right. Mm, yes, we do. And we gotta run. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be plenty to kill on the way. Codex entry. Yeah, very nice.
Um, I think there used to be a quest in this camp, didn't there? Yeah, I think there was. I don't see it now. No. Maybe we're not high enough level yet. Hmm, that could be. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I remember there being a quest to kill those uh, those bots as well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. This camp here. Oh, there is a quest over here. I used to be respected, you know. A word carried weight. One tiny mistake, and suddenly no one trusts me. My troops were acting strangely, plotting something. Obviously, they were traitors. All the warning signs were there. The smart move was to kill them all. How could I know they were planning a surprise party for my promotion? <laughs> <laughs> killed all the troops under your command? I was under a lot of stress at the time. I've got my wits about me now. You have to listen to me. This time, I'm not being paranoid. This time, I've identified a major threat to Imperial security. There are Kuban spies all over the jungle, and they're invisible. You can only see them when lightning flashes disrupt their stealth technology. What are Kubas? Are they our enemy? Those long-snouted alien freaks spy for whoever pays them. But the Empire wouldn't contract them for surveillance on drum and cast. The Empire's enemies are up to something. The Kubas are here assessing our strengths and weaknesses for them. I just know it! Scour the jungle, watch the lightning flashes, and strike when you see a Kubas. Kill the snouted scum and bring me proof. Okay. He's as mad as a bag of frogs, but we'll do it anyway. Of course. <laughs> 